Hi, I'm Hal Varian. I'm the chief economist here at Google. Google uses an auction system to rank the ads that appear in the search results page and to determine the cost for each ad click. In this talk, I'll take you through a general overview of how the ad auction works. First and foremost, Google users want ads they see to be relevant. They don't want to be bothered with ads that aren't closely related to what they're searching for. And advertisers want to show relevant ads so users will actually click on them. In the meantime, Google wants to provide a good experience for users and a good value to advertisers so they come back and use their services again in the future. Now I'd like to walk you through what a traditional auction looks like. Say we have four advertisers competing for space on the search results page, and each has indicated a different amount they're willing to pay for a user to click their ad and visit their website. Four dollars, three dollars, two dollars, and one dollar. I'll refer to these amounts as the bids. Now in a traditional auction, ad positions will be determined exclusively by bids. The highest bidder would get the first position, second highest bidder the second position, and so on. Google uses a variation of what's called a second price auction. And in a second price auction, the buyer doesn't have to pay their full bid. They only have to pay the amount of the next highest bidder below them. So in this particular case, the first advertiser was bidding $4. They'd only have to pay $3, which is the bid of the second highest advertiser. Same thing applies to advertiser 2 and to advertiser 3. This design allows each advertiser to bid their true maximum willingness to pay for a click. But they only have to pay just enough to beat the competition. Now in our Google auction, advertisers only have to pay when they actually receive a click, and the order isn't based just on bids. Why? Because we want to show more useful ads in a higher position on the results page. Because users want to see relevant ads. Advertisers want to present relevant ads to users, and Google wants both advertisers and users to have a good experience, so they come back and continue to use our system. So we consider some other factors in addition to an advertiser's bid. The first factor is your expected click-through rate. This is our prediction of how often your ad will be clicked on when it's shown. All across Google, we rely on user feedback to drive decision making, and user click-through rates tell us what Google users really respond to. By allowing users to vote with their clicks, we have millions of people who are helping us to decide which ads are best for each search query. The next factor is your ad's landing page experience. An ad is only useful to the user if the landing page it leads to helps them find what they're looking for. A highly relevant landing page yields a higher score. What does a high quality landing page look like? Well, it should have relevant and original content that helps the user complete their task. It should be easily navigable. Be transparent about the nature of your business, how your site interacts with a visitor's computer, and how you intend to use a visitor's personal information. Another factor that's involved is ad relevance. Google determines ad relevance by analyzing the language in your ad to determine how well it relates to the query. This is a way to measure the ad's relevance to the user's search and to make sure that only useful ads are shown. It also prevents advertisers from simply paying their way onto a search that's unrelated to their product or service. Your expected click-through rate, the landing page experience, and the ad relevance are all factors that describe the quality of your ad. We also consider the expected impact of any ad formats that may show with your ad. Ad formats are enhancements to search ads that more prominently show users information about your business, things like a phone number, or site links, or your website's domain in the ad headline. Advertisements with these formats give users more information and more reason to click on an ad. So Google combines your bid with multiple quality factors, the click-through rate, the landing page, the ad relevancy, as well as the expected impact of ad formats to calculate a score for your ad called ad rank. Let's go back to our four sample ad buyers and see how their ad rank compares. Here are four advertisers. They're bidding $4, $3, $2, and $1. Their ads had different quality, low, high, high, and medium. They also imply different formats with varying impact. First ad doesn't have any formats enabled, so it has no expected format impact. The second ad is only eligible for one format and has a low expected format impact. And the third is eligible for several extensions and garners a high expected impact. And for the last ad, it's medium. So in this example, the first ad has an ad rank of 5. Next ad has an ad rank of 15. Third has an ad rank of 20. And the last ad has an ad rank of 8. It's this ad rank score that determines ad position in the results page. And in addition, only ads with sufficiently high rank appear at all. 
So with this ad, with an ad rank of 20, it gets first position, even though it has a lower bid. Why? Because of its quality and formats. The second highest ad rank is 15, so that ad gets position 2. And the third highest ad is 8, and it lands in position 3. The advertiser up here, who's bidding $4, has such a low quality and format impact that it doesn't get a position on the page at all, despite having the highest bid. So now we know how the ads are ranked, but how much do you actually pay for a click? Well, you pay the minimum amount that's necessary to maintain your position and any formats that are shown with your ad. So let's get back to our ad rank table and talk about the advertiser in position one. He's competing with the advertiser in position two. So the amount he has to pay is going to be just enough to beat the ad rank of the advertiser in position two. For example, although he bid $2, he could have bid as low as, say, 173, and he would still have outranked the advertiser immediately below him. So that's what he'll pay for a click, $1.73. Similarly, the amount that advertiser in position two has to pay is the minimum needed to beat the ad rank of the advertiser in position three, and so on down the page. So in this example, the top-ranked advertiser winds up paying less than what he was actually willing to pay for a click. And it's the same for the other advertisers as well. All right, let's talk about how advertisers can influence their cost per click and ranking in the auction. By improving your quality or adding ad formats, you can potentially improve your ad position. You could also end up paying a lower cost per click. So let's take a look at the advertiser in position two. Suppose she improves her ad landing page. Now our ad rank goes up to 18. Her position here doesn't change. But what happens to how much she pays per click? Before, even though she bid $3, she only needed to bid, say, 268 to beat the ad rank of the advertiser immediately below her. So that's what she paid, $2.68. But now that she's improved the quality of her ad, assuming everything else stays the same, she could have bid as low as, say, $2.42 to beat the advertiser below her. So her cost per click goes down to 242. Why? Because the price an advertiser pays is partially based on her ad quality. Now imagine this advertiser wants to move to a higher position. So she increases her bid to 350. Now her ad rank goes up to 23. That's enough to give her a highest ad rank and to move her into position one. And what does she pay? The amount that would be just enough to beat the ad rank of 20 below her. Assuming everything else stays the same, that might be, say, $3.38 in this particular case. So to wrap up, why do we handle ad ranking and pricing this way? Like I said at the beginning, it all goes back to the ecosystem Google, our users, and our advertisers all live in. When users see better ads, they're happier, and they're more likely to actually click on those ads, and that makes advertisers happier, which makes Google happy, because with happy users and happy advertisers, we get more people using our system. If you have more questions or want more information, please visit adwords.google.com support. And thanks for your attention.